Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to my channel. If this is new to you, my channel is about ascension, twin flames, soulmates, healing and love, and everything in between. We got a lot of work to do. We're still doing things. So let me ask you a question. Do you feel like a financial feminist? What is a financial feminist? What does the feminine have to do with being a financial feminist? Even bigger question. If you are a feminist and you love a man, where does that all fit in? How is it all going to fit together? Ah, there is a way. So let's talk a little bit about what do these topics mean for your life. First of all, this is a segment of your life. This is one of your houses, your house of finance. It is a part of your foundational house. It is a part of your comfort zone. It is a part of your self-care. It is a part of your self-awareness. And you have connections that are unique to you to help you thrive and be abundant. What doesn't work is staying angry. Anger can help you get your dignity, but it's really not going to fix every situation. And a few years ago, I had this dream, and it was right before Donald Trump got elected. And here's the odd thing about the dream. Donald Trump was standing there at a platform, uh, like podium, and he was saying some stuff, and he was just blathering on. I couldn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to what he was saying. But he was standing in front of sort of a one-story, very nice, almost minimalist um, cabin, you know, the kind that you just love to have in the mountains, like right by a stream. And it, it was, you know, updated, but it was, you know, a tiny house in a way. And standing on the roof was his ex-wife, Ivana Trump. And do you know what she was saying? This I heard loud and clear. She said, don't get angry, darling, get everything. And she meant it. And in that moment, I felt she might be a Blu-ray. I'm not sure. But there were all these little animals scurrying about. And what the animals represented were sort of like what you could call the everyday people, the everyday Joes, the everyday Janes, you know, people that are just going to their jobs day in and day out. And they were scurrying about, not knowing. And she was standing there saying, don't get angry, get everything. And I took heed of that because what that meant to me, my interpretation in that moment was focus on what's important to you and get the parts of things that you need for your own personal life. Okay. Now it wasn't really, she was saying this to me. This has been sort of my philosophy my whole life. What is needed for my life? But a lot of times people who people please, they're putting other people's needs ahead of theirs. And that's not always healthy as we're finding out. It's not always healthy to distribute resources where they're going to be squandered when they're needed right in a certain area or a particular country. So what does this mean? Are you a spiritual financial feminist. Aha. Now we might be getting somewhere because if you are time for your empire, time to be the empress. And so you could have some everyday people and they could be talking about stuff and saying things like, oh my God, I am feeling so overwhelmed at work. Like everybody's just getting on my nerves. Oh my God, I know what you're saying. I have had the same issue. It's like everybody seems to be intruding on me. I feel like I can't get anything done. I'm so distracted and the atmosphere is terrible. And I feel like people are angry at me and pushing me out the door. Oh, yeah. And that's worse. I don't even know how I'm going to retire. Like these things just seem so up and down. And sometimes I just worry about the economy. You know, there's just going to be all these crashes they're predicting. 
Let's stop this discussion right here because through your twin flame body, through your higher fifth through eighth and ninth dimensional connections, that is where you are truly supported. Now, yes, there are breakdowns. Yes, there are areas. Do you want to follow the man? Do you want to be dictated by the man? Do you want the man and the patriarchy? And yeah, they're on that too. Oh my God, like people are so focused on how I'm dressed and, you know, how I look and my hair. And it's like, I'm not even hurt. You feel unheard? Oh my God, try stepping into my shoes. I really feel unheard. I have these great ideas. I go to meetings and one of my ideas even got passed off as one of the junior executives and it wasn't even his. Oh my God, it's happening again and again and again and again and again throughout history. How are we ever going to get this? How are we going to get this change and everything, things that we need and things that need to be different. I don't even know if it'll be better, but God, I wish it was different. Oh, me too. Oh, I wish it. I wish it. Well, their wishes are going to come true now because now you are in a time frame where not only has other areas of the economy been able to open things up, there is less density and there is more ability to make change. Now, the things that you call the patriarchy, what have they been in the past? Yeah, that's been sometimes male ancestors as the elders, as the leaders, as the wise men, as the council. We're not living tribally anymore. Most of us aren't. Most of us still have to pay attention to these ancient traditions and ancient rules. The patriarchy has told you who to marry, when to marry, how to marry, how many children they have, how you have to keep on having children. Oh my God, enough. The buck stops here. Let's start focusing on independence, self-reliance. Retire early, abundance, manifestation. Now, I don't want to hear from you people whose manifester, you know, you're like, I manifest everything I need right at the last minute. I'm talking to people who really want big changes in their life, not like suddenly $20 came in and you managed to do that thing. I'm talking about creating your new life and reinventing again and again and again and using your empress energy to do it. How do you do that? Well, the divine feminine, rather than get drained, has to re-receive divine masculine energy where it's needed in the sections of the body that it is needed and in the parts above you where it needs to come from. How can you be a feminist and still have a great relationship with an actual man? And yeah, there are men that, you know, they can appreciate feminism. For the most part, we want to obliterate all of these labels, feminism, narcissism. We want all of it gone. Are you a sigma male and you just put up with it? Are you an alpha male and you divide and conquer? You know, like it shouldn't matter. All those things should have no bearing on your twin flame union. I'm going to remind you again. If you're watching this channel, that you are a twin flame. And even if you doubt it, it's going to show up again and again. Please get with it because why drag your feet? So please join me. I'm going to be teaching this in four segments on getting your connections where they need to be, getting your alignments, getting your activations, the practicalities of right here, doing grid work, and I hope you'll join me. It's going to be fun. Do you know how fun it is to actually have your own, say, first $10,000, your first six figures, maybe your first million, maybe take a company public? I've been very blessed to have worked with some really great women 
who have been part of that early on surge. And what I've noticed is, you know, there are really great people, but they kind of get overlooked. The only thing where you really want this to count is in the abundance of your personal life. You want to feel that sense of self, that sense of creativity, divine feminine, without compromise, without turning into a bitch, without people thinking you're striding and demanding because the divine feminine has more ways than 12. And these are not feminine wiles. These are actual real connections of utilizing your own feminine energy. People might think that, well, you know, I have to play the victim or I have to be the shrinking violet or I have to be a bitch. No. Fire is fire. Financial independence, retire early. Let's get it on. Let's get started with something. Well, what about my age? Your soul doesn't see your age. Your soul sees you as an eternal being. Your soul is there to help you yet again unpack one of your gifts and several skills in order to help you thrive. And I've seen people do it. I have seen people take things like dog training, cake baking, um, knitting, crocheting, helping people with taxes, helping people fill out forms, helping people get answers on things. There's all kinds of ways, and that is in the next segment of how you put your passion and make it into your paycheck. Take your passion into your paycheck, and this is the passion that is doubled because you are who you are, a twin flame. So if you try to deny that, you just cut your own energy in half. Instead, let's flip that around for you and get this up and running where it needs to be. I've had a lot of people where they, you know, aren't quite sure how this new level is. When I first saw it, okay, it had sort of a very neutral feeling, but it was also like a blank canvas. It was like having, you know, walking into a level where there was just like some kind of, I'll, I'll just say it, a canvas, like something that was blank and white, but it wasn't daunting. It wasn't empty. It was waiting to be filled. That was the feel of it, like a sense of anticipation of like, ah, oh, you've showed up. You're the artist. You're the sculptress. You're the creator. You are the creator of your domain. Don't wait for your other half to show up. Let's get started now because you are the half of a massively creative coupledom. You are the empress. It doesn't matter if you have another empress. Okay, so I'm going to say this straight up because there's still a lot of questions. If two women can be together and be twin flames, hell yeah. Two men, yes. And getting out of those old dynamics where someone's telling you who to marry, somebody's telling you how it has to be. You have ways to get your guidance and answers, and it's going to be from an entirely new level of you. It has to include your heart and your high heart. I am the expert in getting your brand new chakras open, getting you unblocked, getting you unstuck, and moving along. And loving it. I mean, none of this is any good unless you absolutely love it, love it, love it. Unless you're like, ooh, I got to, I'm doing artisanal stuff and I can't, I'm going to do some more tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll hire someone for bookkeeping. That's where you want to be. You want to be putting people to work. You want them to do their skills so that you can do the wonderful thing that you can do. Okay. There are things waiting to be discovered, invented, innovated. But it doesn't happen if you're looking at the closed door of the old paradigm. So come join us. The links are below. Reach out with questions. And my book, Grid Work and Your New Life, is instrumental with this. Okay? How you dismantle old stuff, how you build up new, and how you do it seamlessly gracefully, graciously, as befits the feminine. Thank you.
Bye.